Police are investigating after a man was spotted with a gun in NDG. He was seen near the corner of Beaconsfield Avenue and Summerled. Now, no shots were fired, but a weapon was found, and the possible target has a lot of people talking. Marie-Claude Cabana was in NDG today speaking to people who live nearby. Police say they received a call from guards stationed in front of a house on this residential street in the heart of NDG. There's two uh, security guards which was posted in front of a house on the street Bickensfield near uh, Summerland, which uh, saw a man, a suspect, arrive in their direction and pointing them um, kind of uh, small rifle, uh, like semi-automatic or automatic rifle. Police say no shots were fired and no one was hurt. The gun was found, but police are still searching for the alleged gunman. The house belongs to construction boss Tony Maggi. Now, it's not the first time someone has targeted Maggi. In 2008, Maggi was shot on Cavendish Boulevard. And in 2009, his former business partner, Nick Rizzuto Jr., was killed in front of Maggi's business. Then in 2011, Maggi's wife was shot in her car outside their home. Some neighbors who live nearby would like him to move away, but don't know how that could be done. To know that somebody like this lives in the area and there are children living around, it's concerning. But others don't think the area is more dangerous than anywhere else. I, I don't mean to sound so blasé about it, but you know, it is happening everywhere. Just that some of these are a little bit more uh, up front or in the news. This man didn't want to speak on camera, but he says he feels safe because it's the most watched street in the area. This expert on organized crime has been following Maji's dealings for many years. Julian Cher thinks neighbors should be concerned. We have seen bullets, we have seen violence, and we've even seen a murder in that neighborhood, uh, all tied in one way or another to Mr. Maggi. Um, he always proclaims his innocence, but it's clear that danger and bullets follow this guy around. Police have finished investigation of the area around the home, but are still looking for a suspect. Marie-Claude Cabana, CBC News, Montreal. Tonight in Laval, a new city council takes over after more than 20 years under Gilles Vaillancourt and two interim mayors. As Marie-Claude Cabana reports, everyone is eager to turn the page. They're shiny, they're new, and they're eager. One by one, they swore to serve, starting with the former policeman who is now the mayor of Laval. And Laval's new mayor has a majority. 17 out of 21 members of council are from the Mouvement Lavalois. Only one councillor from Gilles Vaillancourt's team survived. I feel good and proud, proud to be uh, mayor of Laval and proud to be part of the, of the team that we have for city, at City Council. Residents are hoping new blood will get the city back on track. This man says last year's scandals have tarnished the city's image. In November 2012, Vaillancourt, known as the King of Laval, stepped down after almost a quarter century as mayor of the province's third largest city. This after a series of raids by Quebec's anti-corruption unit. Two interim mayors followed and last May the city was placed under trusteeship. Members of the council are eager to get to work. It's still unbelievable, I would say, with everything that happened. Uh, you know, I'm from Mouvement Lavalois and we have, you know, all this uh, huge team here and so we're very happy. We're going to be able to, uh, to do everything we, our program. And Marc Demers says everything in the program will be done with integrity. We'll have measures concerning integ integrity, uh, which will be part of the first move we'll make first bylaws we'll make and uh, uh, we'll have some lawyers working on that. We'll apply them on elected people and then on uh, the IR management. And so begins a new chapter in Laval's history. Next on the agenda, working out how much longer the city will remain under the provincial government's trusteeship. Marie-Claude Cabana, CBC News, Laval.